Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. Well, you know what we're going to be doing, um, but to get this uh, audio spectrum thing, I don't even know what you want to call it. Um, it's all in in After Effects, 100% in After Effects, no third-party plugins, so you don't have to worry about doing extra things. There is some 3D environment stuff, which is why it took me so many attempts um, just to get right. It, it took oh my gosh, it, the, it was pulling my I was pulling my hair out. Um, but anyways, uh, definitely got it right now. Um, it's really cool that now after the, after the let me turn this audio off so it doesn't interfe interfere uh, with the um, the bar moving up and down. You get some realistic shadows as well. Um, they're also really drawn out and long, like they are in the scene with the other objects, which is kind of what I wanted to replicate. Uh, just remember, when in your scene, if you have short shadows, remember to have a short shadow here, and if it's long like this have it long in your in your effect but I'll show you how to get all of that done uh, so the way I started out was uh, I had my base footage selected which is this one um, I went to track camera I clicked on it and this is where the track camera effect came in and then what I did was uh, after it analyzed um, you could see the points right and I couldn't quite find a point that was um, at least parallel with the the what do you call this the mug the camera and the the plant so what i did was i selected a few of them and actually it got it first time it took me like 15 attempts to drag and and select but this first attempt you can see that the the target here is uh parallel to the camera and the plane of the camera the mug and the plant right that's kind of where this is like if you set up a, a piece of paper um, and you lined it up with these, it would match the um, angle of this target, right? If that kind of made sense. Then what I would do is right click on it. I'll create camera and solid. I, I don't have a camera option here because I've already created it over here. Uh, but if I haven't created a camera yet, it'll say create camera and solid or solid and camera, one of the two. I clicked on that and then I had the solid, right? So the solid is stuck to the plant here. Um, and I would leave that on during most of the editing process because uh, we're going to get into this audio spectrum thing now. So what happened was I just created a, a solid layer. I can do control Y as a keyboard shortcut or go to layer new solid and uh, named it whatever I want. Made sure I had the same dimensions as my composition. Color doesn't matter. I did OK and then created this. Then what I did was I uh, went into the effects panel and did audio spectrum. Uh, drag that onto there and I have it right over here, right? And what I would do is uh, with obviously I have my music down here uh, with the audio layer I will select the music layer music 2 and then uh, Obviously it's gonna start populating here, but I'm gonna have to increase the bands or sorry the the frequency bands um, uh, Rather significantly because it started out with like half the amount of bars you see here um, I just increased it, increase it to whatever you like. I'll just show you what this will do. If I increase it, it'll increase the amount of bars. If I decrease it, there'll be less bars. Uh, then I adjusted the maximum height. This is as high as uh, it'll uh, increase the height of these bars. So if I increase it here, you'll see those bars will get higher. Uh, so it'll be essentially be more sensitive to the music. Uh, be careful that it doesn't go all the way up and cut here. Uh, with the edge of the uh, layer. Uh, then what I did was uh, increase the thickness to 5. Now these these settings that I'm going to mention here are going to be a little different for you depending on how you want the spectrum to look. But to get this look, I had the thickness at 5 um, and I uh, went into the effects tab here and I searched uh, Minimax, right? And I've dragged that up into here and that's what this is. Um, and I had the radius at 3 I uh, had the channel at alpha and color and I did just horizontal just it, it seemed to have a, a cleaner effect and with those two combined uh, It had a really nice effect here if I turn this off You'll see there's a little difference here and you may want that that's pretty cool as well um, But I kind of wanted a thicker bar and that's what I got um, And so obviously you can change the colors as to what you whatever you want and uh, Something that's important is if you have side B it'll be underneath the uh, wrote, uh, anchor point I guess 
um, and if I did side A and B, it'll be on both sides, right? So you can do whatever you want there. I'm gonna do A because we're gonna have a shadow at the bottom and I'll show you how to get that. So what I would do is I would duplicate this layer of the audio spectrum uh, and then this would appear, right? Uh, it would appear just like this um, and it would be as side A, right? There would be no difference. You wouldn't see a shadow, you wouldn't see anything, right? So then I would go to side B and that's when it would appear on the other side of the, ac the anchor point, right? Uh, settings exactly the same up here um, because I got to make sure that this shadow looks exactly like these, right? Uh, except there's a little bit stretch in the shadow, which I'll show you later. Then what I had was I had a fast blur, just increase the blurriness, kind of make the shadow softer. I decreased the opacity of the overall layer by uh, down to 40%. And then what I would do is I would rotate this layer to kind of be along the plane of the table or at least similar to it, right? Because I don't want this shadow to be uh, moving down into the table. I want, to, want it to be moving along the table, right? So I uh, adjusted the axis of uh, this anchor. So if I press W and I grab the top here, I can adjust how that shadow went across the board, right? And just do whatever you think looks good. Actually, I think that looks better than the original one. So, and then what I'm what I did was I added the corner pin, right? This is how I got the long shadows. Now I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I just haven't figured it out yet. And there's a bit of messing around you got to do. So there's this one point here, one point here, one point here, one point here. They all appear on the corner here at first when you apply the effect, but I had to drag them in a weird way to align them up here and to give them a longer look, right? So if I just reset that, you'll see that it'll just look normal like that, which you may want that, but I don't want that because I don't have uh, short shadows like I have here with the plant and the camera shadow, right? Uh, so when I adjusted these four corner points, uh, it looked longer and uh, uh, matched the um, like the two shadow, the shadow and the, the audio spectrum met in the middle, right? I don't want there to be a gap between the two. And that's pretty much it. Other than the fact that these are 3D layers, I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the tutorial. So after I had these 3D layers and after I created this uh, solid here, then I would uh, make sure that my solids were in 3D. Uh, that would make them tracked to the, the scene. Then I would may have to adjust the Z axis because they're probably way far towards the camera in space. So I had to drag them back by the Z axis here and kind of align them with this. That's why I kept this visible because as soon as I dragged this by the Z axis down all the way back here and it disappeared behind it, then I would drag it just a little bit in front of it because then I would know it was pretty, pretty well tracked. Um, and I always used these coordinates. I didn't drag it like this because it wouldn't be, it would mess up your composition. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't track as well and it'll look kind of strange. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick insight towards this audio spectrum effect. If you guys did enjoy it, consider subscribing. I will be making more in the future. I do have a lot of other tutorials in the past. Go check those out. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.